Wong. I want to first begin by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory unto my power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rechakwadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the two leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm a brother Babar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of my ability. In this lesson, Lord willing is going to be entitled Stay on Your Purpose. Alright? Stay on your purpose. And this message, you know, is for myself first and foremost, and also to you sincere believers. Alright? Because what's our purpose? First and foremost, our purpose is to serve Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right, feed the sheep as the Lord commanded us to do. All right, walk in the Spirit, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. All right, and with everything going on in the world right now, all right, with the distractions, you know. Seeing uh, the, the prophecies uh, manifesting, the prophecies are speaking. All right, and when the prophecies are speaking, you know that's the Lord. You know, giving us those signs and giving us those tokens. All right, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, all hell is about to break loose. The, the dollar is about to collapse. The MOTP is about to be made mandatory. All right, we see with this uh, Elon Musk. All right, you have uh, millions of people lining up to take that brain implant. You know, so we got to continue to stay on our purpose. All right, and not get caught up with the affairs of this world. You know, the partying and, and bullshitting, all right, the sports and entertainment, all right, all those things is set up to distract you, all right, and I want to bring out this uh, opening precept, it's Ecclesiastes 1 and, four, and verse 14, for I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. All right, and King Solomon wrote this. All right, and you can receive that through the spirit. King Solomon is Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation. All right, and the Lord says, All is vanity and vexation of spirit. Hey, and the only thing that, that, that matters is. Is, is, is this truth alright our job don't mean nothing our, uh, how much money that you have don't mean anything what type of car that you drive don't mean anything how big your house is don't mean anything who won the uh, the Lakers versus the 
versus versus the New York Knicks. Using that for example, that 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 don't matter. How much points Kobe Bryant scored? Who the greatest basketball player of all time? That conversation, none of that shit matters. Only thing matters is is this truth, man. You know, and I'm bringing that, you know, saying this through the spirit because, you know, my occupation. All right, I'm a barber. And, you know, the talk that you hear in, in the barbershop, man, is, you know, is uh, is truly vexing, man. All right. And the more I hear these people, you know, and people in general, you know, talk about worldly shit. You know, that, it, 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 it irks. It irks my nerves, man. All right. Can't wait until you how about smell shy. Destroy this place. Can't wait till you how about smell shy to collapse this this fucking economy. Alright? Can't wait to see people suffering and mourning. You know? And all... Because all is vanity. All is vanity and vexation of spirit. Nobody uh, talks about you know, the Bible. Nobody wants to talk about the scriptures. Nobody wants to talk about World War Three, which which is right in you people's face, because World War Three has already began. All right, it just haven't made it over here to the Americas, but it's getting ready. To, it's getting ready to. All right, the different nations: China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, all these different countries are in that spirit of war. But when you come over here to America, these people uh, only worry about bullshit. You know? So, us, that's of the whole full life. All right, we, we waiting for the, for the destruction. We waiting for these prophecies, you know, to fully manifest. All right. The, the the famine of food, the famine of the word, the uh, the chaos in the streets. Right. But going back, you know, to the title of this lesson, you know, stand on your purpose. All right. And as it says, um. In the scriptures, let's get that really quick. First Peter five, and um, let's start at seven. First Peter five and seven, and it reads. Casting all your care upon them, but he careth for you. All right? So, we got to cast... We got to cast uh, our burdens upon Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay? And I know, you know, that things are getting harder and harder for us. That's, that's fighting for the kingdom. All right? But, you know... These people that's in this world, they don't deal with the with the battles that we deal with. All right, because we got we we have uh, you know we got to work a nine to five. All right, we also have to we have we have the work of 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 Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Okay, you, you, we got class and fellowship. You know, so we we have we have more of a of a of a burden than these people in this world. All right, if you're a father, you gotta you gotta care for your your children and your wife. But you always gotta remember that the Lord doesn't put too much on us that we cannot uh, uh, carry. 
Okay, and it says verse 8 Be sober, be vigilant Okay, and that's a commandment Being sober and, and vigilant uh, So like it, vigilant Okay, we gotta, we gotta be circumspect Paying attention to our surroundings Alright Paying attention to the prophecy all right, because we don't want to get overtooken as a thief in the night. And uh, really quick, let me I'm go into this word vigilant really quick. Vigilant. All right, so this is vigilant. It says... Keeping careful watch for a possible danger or difficulties. Okay, and, and that's our job as watchmen. Okay, because what we're really looking out for is for our nation, the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we understand, according to biblical prophecy, that two thirds of our people. They don't, they're they not going to uh, repent. They're not going to take heed unto the warning. So really, we're watching, we're watching out for the elect. Because that's who the Lord is concerned with. That's, that's who the Lord awoken, uh, the, has woken up to the truth. All right, Matthew 13 chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. So we watching out for, for the elect of the nation of Israel. We're going back to 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Okay, and a hey, as we continue to get closer and closer to the to the end, to the end of Esau, Edom's world, his rulership, it's going to get harder. The, the, the fight, the battle is going to get harder. All right, the, the, the race to the finish line is going to get harder. So we got to stay locked in into our purpose. All right, which is this truth, man. All right, the closer we get to the kingdom, man, the more and more that we got to continue to separate and be holy, which means separate, separate from this world, okay, and that's growth, all right, we got to continue to grow, speaking first and foremost to myself, all right, the only way we're going to continue to grow is if we keep detaching from this world. All right, staying away from these wicked people because they got they got demons on them. All right, let's read this one more time. First Peter's five and eight: Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right, and we're always in sifting season. All right. You see where everything that's going on in the nation of Israel, all right, with these people that's that's falling out of the truth. People are uh, bugging out. People are uh, people not uh, sticking into the doctrine. All right, hey, that's because there is a spirit going around, man. Okay. And hey, that's why we got to continue to stay locked in on our purpose. All right. So I didn't intend to make this too long. I just wanted to uh, speak speak on that while, while, while the spirit was on me. All right. And as you know, the apostles and elders always say, you know, you got to strike while the iron is hot. So, um, you know, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Again, I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. And I pray that this lesson was exhorting to at least one of you how about some outside sheep.
So I'm going to close out by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And the Wadi Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. And the Wadi Yahweh Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit that Rakhak would dash to make this lesson. Lord's willing unto the next lesson. I'ma say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA, call me Asha Allah, Shalom.